Hi guys! Today I'm so excited because I'm going to try out the recipe of the Double Tree Hotel's signature cookies. Many people love that so much. And here we've got the ingredients. Let's have a look. Oh yes, uh, remember to preheat your oven first. The first ingredient is butter, 225 grams or half a pound or two sticks. It should be softened under room temperature. Here we've got three quarter cup plus one tablespoon of granulated sugar. Three quarter cup of packed light brown sugar. Two large eggs. One and a quarter teaspoons of vanilla extract. A quarter teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice is said to be the secret. Two and a quarter cups of flour, and um, I've used plain flour or all-purpose flour because um, the recipe didn't um, say that it should be um, cake flour or what. So I use plain flour instead. And here we've got um, half a cup of rolled oats. Remember, it should be rolled oats, not oatmeal. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. Quite an amount. One teaspoon. A pinch of cinnamon. Two and two thirds cups of Nestle Tall House Semi Sweet Chocolate Chips. Well, I couldn't find any Nestle chocolate chips in Hong Kong, so I used another French. Brand. I mean another brand from France, um, not the Nestle one. And some people say that um, the chocolate chips should be Ghirardelli brand, but it's um, much more expensive. It's up to you. So you may use the chocolate chips that you like. Finally, we've got some walnuts, and here we have one and three quarter cups of chopped walnuts so um, remember to take a look at the expiry date because uh, we don't want any rancid taste let's start baking first cream the butter granulated sugar and brown sugar in a bowl of a stand mixer for about two minutes on medium speed After two minutes, add in eggs, vanilla extract, and lemon juice. Then beat on low speed for um, 30 seconds. And then change to medium speed and continue beating for two minutes until the whole thing is very fluffy. So now low speed rate. and also you need to scrape down the side of the bowl in order to have a very well mixed um, batter Let's change to medium speed for two minutes. See you later. Before I add in the flour, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon, I will mix them together and sift them so that uh, you won't have any um, lumps of salt or baking soda in a cookie. You may use a fork or a whisk, a balloon whisk, to mix them together before um, sifting. Okay, you may use a fork. I'm not a left-hander, so I better use my right hand. Mix them well. For 
me I would save the flower first because um, in Hong Kong you know the weather is so humid so I need to remove any lumps so that the cookies will be um, with finer texture instead of having lumps of flour or other dry ingredients inside Let's see you later here we are now you can see that the mixture um, the butter mixture is very light and fluffy and here we've got the, the dry ingredients they are the flour baking soda salt and cinnamon um, I have sifted, sifted them together so um, and I'm going to add it into the, the mixer bowl and I will use low speed and beat for 45 seconds only so let's come back later flour and roll dough are at the end okay now we've got the cookie dough with oatmeal flour added and also um, all the ingredients except the walnuts and chocolate chips now we need to use a scraper and use your hands to fold in these ingredients wow there's plenty of them wow we're <laughs> so happy you may find it uh, a bit difficult to mix but remember um, not to over mix them because um, otherwise the cookie will be too tough to eat you don't want to form um, too much gluten inside the cookies right wow. look at that Undoubtedly, it's a very um, nourishing cookie <laughs> because many many ingredients are used. Now we've got a baking sheet or a cookie sheet with a piece of baking paper on it, and um, you should use an ice cream scoop to scoop the cookie dough onto it uh, with two inches apart. And um, because I don't have an ice cream scoop right now. Mine um, was borrowed by someone, so um, I need to use a small one. This one is a cookie scoop, it's not an ice cream scoop, it's smaller. So um, I need to scoop um, for three times for each cookie. It's a big one. So, and, um, and you should bake the cookies in a hot oven, um, I mean a low oven, sorry, um, at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 148 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30, 23 minutes and then let them cool on the baking sheet for one hour. So let's see what will happen next. Why can't you try to be happy? Why must you always be sad? Why spend your only life waiting to have what you know you can have? Ethan? Is it yummy? How does it taste? Is it good? It tastes like chocolate. Chocolate? <laughs> can you taste the walnuts? Do you like it? Hi there, I've already tasted the two different um, cookies. They're of different sizes. The bigger ones are with chewier texture and um, it's more flavorful because um, they are bigger and uh, you do have to use more time to bake them in the oven so that the caramel flavor can be developed. So um, the, these cookies are chewier on the edges and inside um, in the middle is still soft for the smaller ones 
um, they are good also. Uh, because they are thinner, so um, um, it's crispier, but also um, chewy on the edges. However, um, because they are thinner, so um, um, it is more likely um to be over baked. Um, for this tray, I've um baked for about eighteen minutes only. Um, they are not over baked. You can see that. But um, the test for the texture, uh, the bigger ones are, are better. Just because of the size, I think, uh, is more um, comforting <laughs> because it's so big, and these ones are good as well. Mmm, yummy. Now um, let's you have a look uh, at the texture of the cookies. Look at that. Mm, I can taste the walnuts. So good. But for me, I, I would like to use pecan nuts, pecan nuts more. Hope you like it. Bye. Mm, yummy.